um one of the things like looking at my notebook <laughs> one of the things that we wanted to discuss was this idea of working remotely because the theater has always been so much about this idea of being in the space you know meisner is going to tell you be in the moment and and feel your your surrounding area and, and all of a sudden you have to worry about am i in shot and <laughs> can my energy translate to what you're seeing so i want to ask like the rest of you like how did that feel trying to translate energy trying to kind of relearn how you perform it's going to go first <laughs> 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 sure, my connection just cut. Well, <laughs> um, but no, I heard the question. And to answer, when your internet freezes, you kind of also freeze, and you're like, "How do I improvise this now?" Because <laughs> you're, you're meant to be in the moment, yeah. right? But my moment has frozen. What happens now? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Um, I think um I think this is the tricky part of turning theater into this digital space. Um I'm I'm not in love with this part at all. Just because um I can see Emily sure, but uh, I would say if we had um more scenes where we actually had to, to have like a more meaningful conversation and go more into depth with things and and create like a, a much more visible bond between us I would have said it would have been much harder this was obviously easier because Lara Taylor did for it to be like a video call usually on a video call there are certain things you don't need to show like your posture doesn't always show it's like usually from chest upwards so um yes that um and also the, the space itself like you can't really move because of the laptop camera thing i mean if i even do this is like oh wow half of me is out whereas on stage you just have this lovely lovely space where you can explore and see what you can do and your physicality can change you can actually see it you can just see my shoulders and my face <laughs> um which really goes um kind of against our trainings as actors because you know you're told as much as possible use all of your body use all of your energy and, and show off everything kind of like and now it's it's basically back to hands and chest and face so i miss it i miss being in person with with my fellow actors and just you know with bouncing off the ideas and energy and just like ah So I miss it. And not I having think... to ask if they hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely one of them. <laughs> the first 10 minutes of every Zoom call, can you hear me? Is your mic on? <laughs> Did you do the right settings? Yes, guys. Or... We have feedback. Mute your mic. <laughs> uh-huh. And also this thing that you can just turn off your camera. It's like, well, maybe I need you to stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I press it by mistake. What happens now? It's like, oh yeah. no. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to turn off your laptop, you know, as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, mid-run, and you yeah. press the wrong keys. Because, yes, I'm part of the technical team, but I am the least tech-savvy person <laughs> I think anyone's ever met. So not the least, but one of them. And mid-run, I managed to turn off my laptop. And how can you improvise from that? Like... Someone just left the call, the meeting. The host actually just left the meeting, and you have no more video cues. So sorry, you love me. Forget it. It's okay. It's... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. I think if anything, with this kind of platform, I guess we we'll kind of all have to learn how to tech, want it or not. It kind of has to be part of it, and. You know, when I when I originally thought of this, I kind of knew that I was going to take my own show, but this you was not what I thought I was doing. You know, I was like ready to have my my faders and my my mixer ready. To this was not what I thought we would be doing. And that's the I think the biggest difference because in in usual tech, 
um, you're looking at what you're doing. So you're, I don't know, lighting something, you're, you're giving, oh, balancing the sound or whatever. You're seeing and hearing what you're doing. But on Zoom, if I do something, it, it's seen differently from the other people and from the other end of the call. So the, the other people are not seeing what I'm seeing. So I have to rely more on what you are seeing. Are you seeing my mouse? Are you seeing my uh, controls bar? I think, and you have to play around with all the possible programs you can, just so you can eliminate that program. But you never see what you're doing. You have to I wing mean, it and hope for the best, basically. And we, just rely on, on whoever is with you to understand. I'm just gonna introduce my cat because she wants to say hi. hi. She's gonna go now and be good. But also, this is what happens on Zoom. You can't sit there just leave. They're, they're, no. No, absolutely no. same. I mean, one of the first things I remember when I first run was me realizing that I have turtles in my room. There is a filter and a turtle tank and they can be heard. The television in our living room where my parents are currently sitting can be heard. And I think this is something we have to consider if we're looking at. Okay, so this brings us to the end of part two. Join us for the next and last bit of our interview tomorrow.